Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to create t-shirt designs using Canva. Canva is one of the most popular online tools for designers and creatives. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified each time I release a new tutorial. One of the easiest and fastest ways to create t-shirt designs, even if you're not a designer, is to use the Canva t-shirt design tool. If you run a print-on-demand t-shirt business, Canva has everything you need to quickly create amazing t-shirt designs. The designs you create can be added to any platform, whether it's Merch by Amazon, Teespring, Redbubble, or any other print-on-demand marketplace. The pre-made templates makes it easy for anyone, even beginners, to create amazing t-shirt designs. So to get started, let's head over to the Canva t-shirt design tool. To access the Canva t-shirt designer, simply click the link in the video description. This will take you directly to the Canva custom t-shirts page. Here you can learn more about the Canva t-shirt design tool and about their t-shirt printing service. They have tons of pre-made designs that you can use as templates when creating your t-shirt designs. Once you create a new t-shirt document, you can choose to use a t-shirt template to make your design, or you can create a new design from scratch. So to get started, let's scroll back up to the top and click on the Start Designing button. This should take you to the Canva t-shirt design maker where you can start creating your t-shirt design. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you'll see that the first tab is your templates tab. Here's where you'll find tons of different templates that you can edit and use to create your t-shirt design. They have many different categories of templates you can choose from, such as group t-shirts, lifestyle and hobbies, school, professional, pop culture, and many others. When you click on a template, you'll see it appear in the editor on the right hand side. You can then customize each element of the template however you like by changing the text, the images, the colors, or any other element. But for this example, let's start with a blank template and create a brand new t-shirt design from scratch. If you already have an image that you want to add to your t-shirt design, look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the uploads tab. You can then click on the upload an image button, select where you want to upload your image from, and find the image you want to add to your design. For this example, I'm going to create a design about coffee. So let's start with an image of a coffee mug. Once your image finishes uploading, you can then drag it over to your design template. Once on the template, you can rearrange your image, resize your image, crop your image, or edit it any way you please. So now that I have an image for my design, let's add some text. Look at the menu on the left hand side and go down to the text tab. Here you can select to start with the text heading, or you can scroll down and select one of the pre-made text templates. They have tons of really cool templates that look great on t-shirt designs. For my design, I think I'll start with this text template here. Simply click on the text, and you should see it appear on your t-shirt design template. Once it's on the template, you can move it around, resize your text, change the colors, or even change the fonts. Simply use the editing tools at the menu up top to customize your text or your image any way you choose. So for my coffee design, my text now reads, coffee, a hug and a mug. If you don't already have an image to add to your t-shirt template, you can simply search for one to use in the Canva image gallery. To find images to add to your design, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the photos tab. Here's where you can search through the Canva gallery to find images to add to your t-shirt design. So for my design, let's go up to the search bar and see if we can find a coffee cup to add to my template. When I search for coffee cup, I can see all the images of coffee cups that are available in the Canva image gallery. They have a lot of free images, but to access all the Canva gallery images, you need to sign up for a Canva Pro account. I'll put a link down in the description so you can try out Canva Pro free for 30 days. So for my design, I think I'll just add this coffee mug here. Let's click on the image and drag it over to my template. There we go. I can now rearrange, resize, or edit the image using the editing tools in the menu up top. Once you finish creating and editing your design, you can now download it to your computer. To download your new t-shirt design, Let's go up to the top and click on the drop down menu here. 
We can then click on Download to see our download settings. Under File Type, make sure you have PNG selected. If you're planning to add your design to products on Teespring, Redbubble, or any other print-on-demand platform, the next few settings are highly important. You have to make sure the size of your image is large enough so it doesn't look pixelated on your t-shirt. And you also want to select the checkbox beside Transparent Background. Without selecting Transparent Background, my t-shirt design would have this red square behind it that you see here. But in order to resize your image and add a transparent background, you're gonna need a Canva Pro account. If you're not already signed up for Canva Pro, go ahead and click the link in the video description to try it out for free for 30 days. Not only will you be able to resize and remove the background from your images, but also access all the images, videos, and audios in the Canva Pro library, get access to tons of new fonts to use for your designs, access all the premium t-shirt design templates, and tons of other tools and features that can help you build and grow your business. So for this example, let's increase the size of my t-shirt design to about 3000 by 4000 pixels. This will ensure that the design doesn't look pixelated when added to t-shirts or other products. I'm also going to select to have a transparent background to remove the red box behind my design. Once you increase your image size and add a transparent background, we can now click on the download button. Your new t-shirt design will now be downloaded to your computer. So now that I've downloaded my design, let's open it up and see how it looks. Not bad. I have my coffee, a hug and a mug design and the background has been removed. My new t-shirt design is now ready to be uploaded to Merch by Amazon, Redbubble, Teespring, or any other print-on-demand marketplace. So that's a quick overview of how to create t-shirt designs using Canva. To access the t-shirt designer and to get Canva Pro for free for 30 days, go ahead and click the link in the video description to get started. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.